Hello everyone, Ray again. Today I'm going to show you on a very interesting effect known as eddy currents with this little neodymium magnet. So I'm back behind the shop today by the water jet room and uh, I've got three pieces of material set up here. Uh, this piece right here, you see this little vertical stick is a piece of steel. This big sheet right here is aluminum and this round disc you see right there is a piece of stainless steel. So let's take uh, a look at how eddy currents happen uh, with using this tiny little neodymium magnet. So I'm going to show you, this is regular steel, nothing special about this piece. I'm going to put the magnet right here and you can see it is actually uh, as you would expect. The magnet is going to uh, attach itself, and this is a very strong magnet, uh, attach itself to steel just as you would expect. And as you can see it's a round magnet and it's uh, strongly attracted that it won't even roll down the piece of steel. Okay, let's go over here. This is a piece of stainless. You can see it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Uh, contrary to what you might think about stainless, stainless can be a little bit magnetic and different types of stainless can be more magnetic than, than others. This one, as you can see, is uh, got no magnetic quality. But uh, I'm going to let go of this magnet and you can see how it will simply fall down the sheet. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to hold it up here and uh, we're gonna see how quickly it falls on the sheet there you go nothing nothing unexpected there so let me grab that magnet now let's take it to this sheet of aluminum this sheet of aluminum is about half an inch thick well it is half an inch thick it's not about you can see the measurement there half inch 6061 is the material that's aluminum uh, T6 uh, T651 is the the heat treatment now okay as you can see this sheet is about four foot long I'm going to put the magnet on the top and walk away very quickly so you can see how uh, eddy currents work in a piece of aluminum. I'm going to set the magnet right here and then I'm going to walk away from it. So you know as well as I do that aluminum is not magnetic and yet here we have a magnet sliding very slowly down the surface of that sheet let's see that again this is real time i am not slowing this down this is real time play on the video let's look at it again okay there's the magnet again one more time there's no trickery here this is actual speed i'm going to drop this and step away from it quickly this is quite fascinating actually Maybe to some it's like watching paint dry. So uh, I looked this up. What is happening here is, as you know, magnet creates a magnetic field. And we know how motors uh, turn electricity into uh, rotation with um, a, a magnetic field in the rotor and in the stator. And you make electricity by rotating a copper wire in a magnetic field. Uh, so what's happening here is the magnet is setting up eddy currents in this uh, piece of aluminum. It's creating a current that has nowhere to go. It can't get out of the sheet. And so that creates a magnetic field and that magnetic field is what is uh, counteracting the downward motion of the magnet. Now it is obviously much more complicated than that. I've oversimplified it but if you're curious uh, this is called um, uh, eddy currents is what's being created in the aluminum. And as far as I know, this particular effect is unique to aluminum. Um, I've been experimenting with other metals here, but it seems to work very nicely in aluminum. Thank you all for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section. I do read them all and I do respond. Thank you again.